Let's talk day trading scams and how Facebook and Instagram and really Twitter, they just don't seem to care. I'm gonna to try to keep my composure. I'm going to try to not rant and rave too much, but this stuff is disgusting. And it is something that I don't think should be that difficult to fix, especially when you have all kinds of proof. And I'm not, well, I'm doing this hopefully more so, I don't know. I mean, I'm doing it because I, I want to just be able to let people know about these scams that are going on out there. And also, maybe just maybe this is probably wishful thinking. Maybe somebody from Instagram or Facebook or Twitter will like see this and be like, oh, yeah, wow. People are getting destroyed on our site and we're not even doing anything about it. But they probably don't care. I, I'm almost convinced that they don't care. But it is what it is. But I'm going to throw it out there. And hey, you know what? If you work for Facebook, who I know owns Instagram or Twitter, and you see, I mean, maybe you should bring this to your higher powers because this is very real. And it, like I said, it's disgusting, it's frustrating. And the fix is, is not difficult to do at all, especially when you have people that are trying to help out and trying to report these accounts. But just to set up context, and this is not for me, I think this is the new scam out there. And I don't know if it's just a day trading scam, but people, they, they mimic other people's profiles. And then in this situation, you know, for, for me, you know, me, Clay Trader, I supposedly offer, you know, some sort of account management program and I'll trade for you and give you guaranteed gains and give you all sorts. I mean, it'll be all sorts of money that you're going to make. And I, I should note that this stuff does irritate me. It is disgusting. However, FYI, if, if you don't realize, because unfortunately some people don't realize that if I tell you, or if anybody, if you know, I tell you, or anybody tells you something and there's guaranteed results, guaranteed returns, crazy returns, please run. It's a scam, okay? So for some of these people, I just want to ask, like, well, what were you even thinking in the first place to think that you know you'd have guaranteed results? And 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 this will sound bad and it's flattering, but Clay, I trusted you. You seem like a good guy. I follow you. You're you seem like one of the good guys and the honest guys. And while I appreciate that, ah, it's it's frustrating to know that you still, you know, like I said, I, I'm I, I'm flattered that you would have felt that way. But please, that's anybody, even if it's me, and if I were to be like, hey, listen, I got guaranteed results. No, that's scam. That's scumbag type moving. And I'm already ranting and raving, but I, I just can't help it because this stuff is driving me up the wall, as you can see here. So I'm just gonna throw it out there, make you aware of it, um, that I will never message you. Now, if you directly message me, I will reply, yes, but I'm never going to just reach out to you. And I definitely won't be reaching out to you, whether that's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, any of these, and then telling you about some sort of account management program. The best way to know that it's me is if what I'm referring you to is anything at claytrader.com. That's it. If, I, if I'm referring to you to some other sort of Bitcoin site or who knows what site, that's not me. But the first clue would be I'm never going to actually reach out to you. But to set up the context here, to, again, Facebook, Instagram, if any of you are listening, you know, this person right here reached out to me, thought I got hacked. So, hey, Clay, you know, have you ever had any hacking going on? Uh, and then, you know, they're, they're saying, you know, they have two messages from me because one of them is a fake. And then down here, this is just, so you did not wire or you did not sign me up for your, uh, for, so you did not sign me up for your learn Learn while you earn, oh, that's, <laughs> so you did not sign me up for your learn while you earn trading program. I wired you $5,000, $5,000. This person fell for it, $5,000. That's crazy. Again, I already harped on it. Whether or not, well, that person deserved it for being so gullible. I, I like I said, I, I, I do agree with that. You should, but I mean, Ah, it's that's just frustrating, especially when it's my name being used to have suckered somebody out of five thousand dollars. Now, this is really what starts to get my blood boiling because this is not rocket science. I know a lot of this is computerized, but I mean, come on, you're Facebook, like you have really good software engineers. So, and myself, others, they report these profiles. They report them as you know, basically scams, right? Because they're it's not me and they report them in and then just, and this is one of the messages that you get back, which is crazy, absolutely crazy, especially when I know for a fact, guaranteed, 
there have been hundreds of people that have submitted complaints because every day, you know, I, I get dozens of, hey, Clay, is this you? Hey, is that you? No, it's not. Please report. No, it's not. Please report. Thanks for the heads up. Please report. Like I have my copy and paste answers down because I get so many of them. So please report. Everybody's like, okay, thanks for letting me know. Reported, reported. And then this is what they send back. An update on your report. In other words, you know what what you've uh, uh, you know what you've reported. We've reviewed or we reviewed the profile you reported and found that it doesn't go against any of our community standards. Really, Facebook scamming people out of money using somebody else's pictures and accounts and name does not go against your terms of services. If there's something specific on this profile that you think we should review, example, a photo, please report the content itself. We want to keep Facebook safe and welcoming for everyone. So thanks again for taking the time to report this. Yeah, you I can tell you care. Unbelievable. No, no, that, that they're, they're not violating the community standards. And I know people have submitted screenshots because people always take screenshots and I, I know the counter and they, they play along for a little bit. They have a bunch of screenshots. I say, well, okay, well, make sure you, uh, you know, keep that as part of your, your, uh, your, your complaint, your report. And then they still just, now, of course, I get it. This is all automated because at least I hope it is. If there is a person that sees all this stuff and then they're like, no, there's no, then shame on you. But I'm pretty sure it's all automated which is just such a shame, but right there. <laughs> it doesn't go against any of our community standards. Okay, Facebook, okay. And I understand people's frustration. I've had some people come at me pretty hard. Clay, what are you doing? I mean, and like I said, to be fair, most of them have come back and apologized after they've cooled down. Uh, but I just want you to know that I am trying. I, I really am trying to do whatever I can to make this as hard as possible for the scammers, you know, to do what they're doing. And and one part of that is okay, let me try to get verified, right? Get the blue check mark, get some sort of official verification, and there's a process for it. And here you can see that from Instagram, I tried to get verified, right? I tried to get that blue check mark so people know what's actually the right profile. And here's Instagram, and again, part of these submissions are screenshots letting people know, hey, there's people losing money. And that screenshot I sent you about the $5,000 guy, I've been sending those in. And again, this goes to, hey, if you want, and I always offer, if you would like more examples, if you would like more screenshots, just let me know because I have all sorts of people that are constantly sending me in screenshots. So like literally let me know whatever you need to offer up more context that this is why my account needs to be verified. Not because I'm some sort of like big hotshot celebrity. No, nothing like that. But literally because my account is being used to scam people out of money. So let me know if you need any more examples of how my account is being used to scam people out of their monies. And then this is, you know, what Instagram sends back. Your account wasn't verified because it doesn't meet the criteria for verification. So I guess on Instagram, Unless you're like some sort of famous, famous person, they're not going to verify you. Screw it if, you're, if your you know, profile and all that is being used to scam people out of money. Ah, verify you for that? No, we don't care about... We, we need you to be like a celebrity. Okay, okay, Instagram. And then here is the email I got back from Facebook again. Trying. I really am trying to get verified. Hi, Clay. Thanks for your request to, to thanks for your request to verify your account. We reviewed your account. You did? Cuz I submitted like a bunch of stuff as part of my submittal. I supported screenshots and people that lost $5,000 and I made the offer to give like more examples if you need it. I mean, I I I offered you a lot. I gave an in-depth explanation of what was going on. So I'm glad you reviewed it. And unfortunately, it's not eligible to be verified at this time. Well, like when is it going to be eligible when like people start to lose $50,000 or is it just like 10,000? Because apparently $5,000, nah, who cares? Not enough. So this is, I don't understand. I don't get what Facebook and Instagram, Twitter are doing. To be fair, YouTube, they, they've done it. They, it shows up in the comment sections, but YouTube and their algorithm, it picks up on a lot of them and automatically throws them into the spam thing. So I just can go through and mark, yep, you were right. That is spam. I mean, there's still some that get through, but at least YouTube is like making an effort. So, and, and Google owns YouTube, so I don't have any 
I will give credit or credit to you. YouTube seems to be doing the best of their job and, and they're trying. But Facebook and Inst or Facebook and Instagram, one of the same, they, they just don't care as far as I can tell. They literally don't care. And I understand because I've had some people say, well, Clay, in order to get verified, you need to have this, this, and the other. And I understand what you're supposed to need, what you're supposed to have to get verified. I, I get that. I really do. But my point is, why don't they throw in this? Like, do, wouldn't it make sense? Like, oh, and the other thing that you would need to be verified or one reason to verify you is if people are just blatantly using you in order to scam other people. That will make an exception for that too. Yeah, sure, you don't have X amount of followers and X amount of likes and you don't have this, that, and the other about you. However, if people are gonna be using your information to scam other people, you know what? We'll, we'll add that into the verification okays also. That's my core point is. So again, I'm not sitting here saying, I don't know how to get verified. I wish they would verify me. I, I get it. Like I get that angle, but my complaint is why don't they add in some sort of, hey, if there is documentable proof that your account is being used to scam other people, okay, we'll verify you in that situation too. But they don't, maybe they will someday, like I said. How long has this video been going? Oh, only a little over 10 minutes. I feel like I've been ranting for a lot longer than that. Uh, but so as I wrap things up here, just an FYI, yes, there's a scam going on. If you get a message from me, it's not me in the YouTube comment section. If you get a reply and it's me sending you some like what what's app number or some sort of bizarre site or bizarre number with a bunch of spaces in it, that's not me. If you're on any site and I reach out to you first, that's not me, okay? So that's just the, 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 the big dynamic here is I want you to people be aware of this scam and just understand that it's not me. And then second, like I said, more so the wishful thinking, maybe just maybe somebody from one of these social media companies will see this and be like, oh, you know, Maybe we should take this a little more serious. Maybe we should actually try to care about our customers and care about you know, who's using our site because, but I don't know. Maybe I'm probably just an ignorant fool in that regard. But now you know, I, and like I said, I, I put posts. I'm trying to make this as public as possible so that nobody else gets scammed. But I mean, there's only so much I can do. I'm trying to do as much as I can. I'm trying to get verified. It's not happening. Hopefully that'll change. But yeah, so there's your little public service announcement. And Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, you should be ashamed of yourself. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.